everyone. I just wanted to hop on and do a really quick tutorial of one of Keysearch's many incredible features. I'm gonna be showing you how I use this tool to pinpoint keywords that I can actually use in my content to rank on the first page of Google. So here's an example. I just searched short, funny travel stories. Now you can, of course, erase that. You can type in any keyword that you're thinking of using, but I'm using that one. I clicked search, and this is what Keysearch brought up. Now you can see I'm ranking on the first spot in Google because what this is showing you is all the posts on the first page of Google. It also shows you a list of keywords related to the one you searched. So you have all these other keywords that you can kind of start testing out here and your main one that you just searched. So I can see that that keyword gets a volume of about 170. Um, the search score is 33 and it's green. Typically the lower the number and the lighter the color, the easier that keyword will be to rank for. So if we look at short travel stories, you can see for this keyword, I'm actually in the second spot, which is neat because that means that keyword can also bring me traffic. That's something to remember with your posts. It's not just your main keyword that you optimized for that can bring you traffic, but it's all the supporting keywords as well. So let's go back to the short, funny travel stories. And what I like to do is comment to this box where we have the posts that are ranking on the first page of Google. And I like to look at a few things. First, the domain authority. If you don't know your domain authority, you could just Google what is my domain authority and a checker will come up. If you go to the Moz website, they have one. So you can see mine is a 53. I like to make sure that there are a few posts that have a lower domain authority than I do. Typically at least three, that's what I aim for. So I can see there are a few that are lower than me. Then I like to come to the authority column and from those posts with a lower domain authority than me, I like to make sure a few of them have a low authority. Typically an NA like this or a one or even a two. So okay, I see I have a higher domain authority than them, lower, so two. 29, and A, and we've got a 28 and a two. Okay, looking pretty good. And then I like to come to the title, description, and URL columns and make sure that from those posts that I'm thinking I can beat, that they haven't optimized their title, description, and URL for that keyword. Now, I just wanna say really quick, I have optimized my description. I had to edit the post's description a little bit ago and Google hasn't caught on to that yet. But anyway, I do have it optimized. Now, this gives me a good idea that I can rank for this keyword. Now something else I like to do, I'll just copy this keyword, more tools, content assistance, and I've already searched it, you can see, but I would enter the keyword there and search it. There are a few columns, I look at the main column, and this gives me a list of must words. Must words, also known as LSI keywords or latent semantic index keywords, are the most used phrases and keywords within the first page results of Google. Key search says they highly recommend including these in your article. So you can take these keywords and put them into your article. You might even get inspiration for new sections to add to your article. That's always great, making it more in depth. Then I like to come to the questions section and not all of these are questions, not all of them are relevant, but you might pinpoint some questions that are relevant and make sure to answer them in your post to make it really in depth and really robust. Something to note, Sometimes you will absolutely outrank pages and posts that have a higher domain authority than you and that have a ton of backlinks and that have optimized for their title, description, and URL. There are many reasons for this. One of them is your topic authority. If it's a topic you write about all the time, then you're gonna have a better chance of ranking for content on that topic. This is also a great reason to have a narrow niche. Not only do you stand out from the crowd, but your content has that topic authority. All right, now I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. I hope you head over to KeySearch's website, check out their tutorials, check out their blog, and see just what is possible with this powerful tool.